So just going back to the face of Ascot 2009, uh, what are the criteria? Well, frankly, you need to have terribly good genes. I mean, what else? <laughs> Anybody around here with wonderfully good genes? Well, I don't think Linda Evangelista's got an awful lot to worry about, to be perfectly honest. OK, well, it's a good job that we've been out and about filming all day, then. Let's have a look at some of the sites that we've seen out and about here at Ascot. Factory. Um, it's rather electric blue. I, I do rather like this lady. I think it's very calm and collected, a very English rose. She looks quite serene, doesn't she? It's pretty. It's just pretty. Ooh. I always think these hats that look like Tracy Island made by a Blue Peter presenter are just ghastly. Checkmate. My goodness, balloon sleeves. Those are sleeves, aren't they? And off the shot of... I really don't have a sweet too, so that hat's not particularly for me, I must say. That's and an interesting is... tie on the right-hand side. I, I, I don't mind a Larry tie. I, I do like all of these sort of frondy feathers this season. I think they're, they're rather terrific. Oh, and this lady just looked absolutely exquisite. That superb Scaparelli pink, really pretty, pretty face. Um, what's not to like, divine. Oh, she looks beautiful as well, doesn't well, she? That's, that's a real Audrey Hepburn look. And if I bang on again about putting hair up, you know, under that hat, she would look a thousand times better. And these great big brims that we're really enjoying, I think, this, oh my goodness, high water. then has to go up with the hat always. I, I think it really helps. You know, I spoke to Philip Treacy about it last week and spoke to Stephen Jones, and both of them agreed that their hats are so greatly enhanced if a girl just puts her hair up. It's so simple. OK, tip for now. More later. Well, what excitement we've had so far, and it's back to the action once again here. The third consecutive Group 1 race here at Royal Ascot on the opening day. 